Hey, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, build a dedicated server and host it online by creating a cloud server. And to do this, we're going to use a service called Digital Ocean. I will put a link in the description. And if you create your account with this link, your first $100 will be free on Digital Ocean. So now let's create a new droplet. Click on Create Droplet. Let's choose Ubuntu 22.04. And then if you're going to host both the lobby and the game server, I really suggest to have at least uh, two CPU. So we're going to go with this one. But if you're only hosting the lobby, it may be fine to uh, go lower. But of course, uh, if you get a lot of players, you'll probably need to increase that later. And then you can choose a region. I'm going to choose uh, Toronto. And now you need to add a SSH key. So I already have one. I'm going to click on IndieMark. If you don't have one, you need to create a new one here. And then you have some instruction here on how you can do this. But since I already have one, I'm going to choose uh, the one I have here. Then uh, if you want, you can enable backups. Since this is just a demo, uh, I'm not I'm going to do it. Then you can choose a host name for your server. I'm going to go with survival demo. And there you go. You can uh, create your droplet. So when it's complete, it will give you an IP address. This is what you will need to connect to it. But before you will be able to connect to your server, you will need to download two software. So the first one is WinSCP that you can download on this site. And also you'll need to download Beauty. On my end, I've already installed both. So we're going to go ahead and copy the IP. So inside WinSCP, I'm going to create a new session, new site. Then I'm going to paste the IP here. You can leave these two uh, by default. And then the username is root. There's no password because we're using a SSH key, but you're going to need to go into advanced authentication. And then under private key file, you need to go and select your key. So I've added the private key here that I've generated um, on my computer and then click OK save you can give it a name and then uh, you can connect to your new server all right so once you're inside the server you can um, click on commands open beauty this will allow you to access the command line there you go so i'm going to go into the root folder and create a new directory called server. That's where you, we will upload our builds. Here I will create two new folders. One will be for the lobby and one for the game server. We are going to do a build of our dedicated server. To do this, um, you will need to go into build settings and then select Linux. For the dedicated server, you will want to have the server game seen at the top. When you're building the client, you want to have the menu at the top. But for the dedicated server, uh, you need to add server game here at the top. And you also need to make sure that uh, all your game scene are included. You don't need to include the menu for the dedicated server. Now I'm going to choose server build. What this is going to do is to disable all the graphics. Uh, this can help improve performance on your server. Now let's do a build. Server game. And we're also going to build the lobby server. For this one, you don't need to include any of the game scene. You really only need uh, one scene and it's the server lobby also on Linux and then server build. Before you build your lobby, there's some settings that you need to make sure are correctly set. So if you go into resources, network data, 
First thing you need to check is that the lobby URL is set to your server, so we're going to change this. Let's copy the IP of your new droplet, put here. The second thing you need to make sure is that the game type is set correctly. All three of them are supported uh, with the lobby, but uh, right now in this example, we're going to use dedicated server. And then finally, make sure that the path here matches the name of the game server build that you made. So in our case, we called it server game. Let's create a folder, server lobby. And now you can uh, upload both of your builds here. So let's go with the lobby. You don't need to include this folder. Now we're going to do the same with the game server inside the right folder. So now that everything is uploaded, again, you will really want to make sure that inside the network data, here you have the game path, because the way it works is that um, you will be running the lobby. This one will always be running. And then when someone creates a game, it will uh, create, it will launch the game application once for each game. And to be able to do that, the lobby need to know where is the game server relative to uh, this path here. So that's why we're going back to folders because it's always relative to uh, the data folder here. So we're going back to folder. And then after that, inside the game folder, we have the application called server game dot x8664. So everything is matching, so it should work. So now that everything is uploaded, before we test the lobby server, we're going to check if the game server is working. And to do that, we're going to open Beauty. Then we're going to go to this path here. You can copy it, CD. And now before we are able to run anything, we will need to change the permission because by default, if I look here, sometimes the execute permission are not allowed. Yeah, so here on the application, you see all the execute is not um, allowed. So we need to change that. And to do this, we write ch mode r 755 and then the name of the folder. So we're here. This is, oops. So the name of the folder is Kim. And then we're going to do the same thing for the lobby folder. So now if we go inside the game folder, I should be able to uh, run the game. I'll try that. Dot slash and then the name of the application. Enter. So here you have a lot of warning, but this comes from uh, Unity because we're in uh, server mode. All the shader are not working, so this is normal. Now that the game server is running, we can test to see if it's working. So we're going to go in Unity, open the menu, then copy our IP, run the menu, join, and then uh, put the IP of your server, click join, and now we're in. So this is uh, running as a client on our server that is hosted online here. So as you can see here, I've just joined the game with the ID number two. All right, so now we know that our server is working, our game server is working, so we can do control C to stop it. And uh, later we'll see how to run uh, the application as a service because right now, whenever you close Beauty, I will just shut down your application. So you really need to run it as a service instead of just uh, running it uh, normally. But before we do that, we're going to test the lobby. 
So we're going to change to the lobby folder. And now let's do the same thing that we did before. Dot dash uh, server lobby run it. So it seems to be working. Let's see if we can connect and then connect and I'm here. So if I reach the screen, usually it's because I managed to connect to the lobby. So now that we know that both are working, we're going to go and create a service for our lobby so that it always stays on. If you go in the install folder here, I've included the files here that you can use to um, run a service. So we're not going to use the game because the game is not going to run as a service. It's just going to be uh, called by the lobby directly because we want to have more than one game on our server. If you wanted to just run a single game and no lobby, then you, you could use this one. But uh, for this example, we're going to upload the lobby. So let's use this file. And on your server, you're going to go to this folder here, etc, systemd. And then here inside the system folder, you can upload the service. Now let's open this file. And here you have the name of the application, but you really need to make sure that this path is correct here. And also you can select a path for your uh, log file. This is uh, the right thing already, so should be good. So let's try it. So the only thing you need to do to run the service is system control start lobby. And this name here is the name of your file that you've uploaded here. So let's launch it. And if you want to know if it's really running, you can write top and then you should see it appear here at the top. So yeah, I can see that the lobby is running. I can do control C to exit that. Okay, so now that our lobby is running, we're going to test it and try to connect to it. But before you do that, just make sure that in Unity, you have your uh, scene set up for the client. So put back everything. Let's just make sure that I'm still connected to the right IP. Yes, I am. All right, let's connect. Create a new game. Let's try the forest scene. Let's refresh with the other player. Now I see the game I can join. And then I should see the two players here appear. You can chat. And now let's start the game. And there you go. Now you have your two players connected to the dedicated game server online. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is how to secure your server. So by default, when you create a DigitalOcean uh, droplet, all the ports are open, but you may not want to have that. So you can uh, set up the firewall for that. So if you go into resources, network data, you will see here, these are the ports that are used by the game. So this one is for the lobby. And if you just also single game server, this is the port that I will use. But when it's the lobby that uh, instantiate uh, more than one game, then you will start at this one and then go up uh, and find one port that is available. And the port is what allows the players to differentiate uh, which game they connect to. So right now we will need to open all of these ports. So we're going to go on uh, our server command line here. And then we can write uh, UFW status. Right now it's inactive. Uh, so we're going to start adding some rules. The first one that you will want to add is uh, allow SSH. This is the protocol that you use to uh, connect remotely. If you don't allow this and you enable the firewall, then you will lose your connection and you will not be able to connect to your server anymore. So let's allow this one first. Now we can allow it. We can enable it. 
say yes and now I can check the status alright so we have the port 22 that is allowed now we're going to add these ports so to do this we're going to write UFW allow 7700 to 7800 slash UTP now we can write UFW status we can see that it's been added but we're also going to add the TCP so now your firewall is configured to only allow the ports um, related to your game alright so this is it for this video I hope it was helpful to understand how you can set up a dedicated server and uh, if you have any question feel free to uh, send an email or uh, just join the discord and ask there thank you for watching